Cooking with Mommy, Afro con Gandoles with Maria Perez Brown and Juana Grajales. At Sunday dinner, special holidays, there's always one particular dish, and that is arro con gandules, rice with pigeon peas. But not everybody makes it the same way. One thing I learned from my mom and from my grandmother before that is that you have to cook every individual ingredient, meaning that you're not just gonna throw the sofrito in there, you're gonna wait till that is simmering and that the flavor is really already sort of, you know, cooking within all of these oils. Why do you have to start with the pork? You know, why do we have to have the pork and everything? It looks so good. Some people like to add a little piece of tocino. You know what that is? That's fat back. I, I mean, it. it is like fat back that you fry in oil. I don't know, mom, you like the ham, right? I love it. She <laughs> loves the ham. You know, they get a good flavor. Very good flavor. You know, I'd rather not add the ham because you're just adding the extra calories and I know it has a little bit of that flavor, but when you add the sofrito and some of the other ingredients, it tastes just as good. And for now, we're gonna keep it in just because you're here and we want you to taste the authentic <laughs> thing, you know? Oh, look at the sofrito. It's like a little oh. avalanche of sofrito and flavor. And we, of course, have to add the olives. Once the food has simmered, it's important that you add the sauce only when that starts getting a little more brown. That's a lot of sauce you got there. I believe in vibration cooking. I mean, we learn how to cook by looking and by pinching. I never learned how to measure. So you just add it and you smell it. If it smells good, it's good. If it doesn't smell good, you know exactly what's missing. These are the gandules. This is what we've all been waiting for. This is the ingredients that go right into the pot. I love to take the foundation of Latin food and then add these really kind of more modern, sometimes expensive ingredients. <laughs> you live with a foot in two cultures. You have your very basic Latino upbringing, and then you have this modern American world that we live in. Now that it's all ready, we put the tapita to cook. 